Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Foff Select 4.2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind the bobbin and thread the machine. So to start with, when you go to change your thread, always cut the thread up here by the spool and pull the excess thread out at the needle. And make sure your presser foot is up. This is the presser foot lifter right here. Make sure that's up because that opens the tension disc so that the thread can uh, flow smoothly when you're threading your machine. Now to start with, we're gonna wind a bobbin. So in your accessories or in your case here, you will find bobbins. So take a good bobbin. Make sure that you have only the kind of bobbins that go with your machine because if you don't, they may not sew too well. So make sure they're the Foff bobbins, the blue kind here. Now to start out with, we're gonna go under this little hook right over here, like that, and then it's gonna come out right here. So we're winding the bobbin. Oh, to start with, I wanna show you one more thing here. Let me take that back out. When you put your thread on, the thread is going to be spiraling off the end, so it spirals off better if it has this coming from behind and underneath rather than this way. So put it on so that it's coming from behind like that. And put that on there and make sure you use a spool cap, the size of spool cap that's appropriate for your uh, width of your spool. So again, we go under here, this way, and we take our bobbin, and if you need to, you can snip the end of your thread for it to be nice and uh, no fuzz on the end. So now look at your bobbin, make sure that you have foff uh, going upwards. I'm gonna put that through here on the side of my bobbin, right there like that. Come on, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put this up here like this. Now I have the thread tail coming up from above. And then we have, there's a little notch here. That notch needs to fit on that little lug right there. And that helps it so that as it's spinning, it spins the bobbin too. Okay, so we push this over to the right and also Move your little clutch thing here. And what that does is it keeps the uh, needle from going up and down here. I'll give you an example. See, right now the needle's going up and down. So we don't want that ha happening. So you move it the other way. And see, now if I, this is not moving up and down. Okay, so what I did is I kind of got ahead of myself. You start, you push this way, this way. So do both of these. Your bobbin's not gonna wind unless you have the bobbin spindle to the right. So that's all gonna keep going. Now you may wonder, well, what happens when this gets full? It will stop because the, the fullness of the thread is gonna push against this little stopper here, which is gonna pull this back away a little bit from where it connects inside and that will keep your bobbin from overwinding. So I'm gonna hold this up like this, start spinning it. And once this is given several layers of thread in the, the inside of the bobbin, then I cut this off like that and keep winding. It winds pretty quickly. So, oh, I forgot this one last little guide right there. That just kind of helps keep things orderly like that. And if I only want a little bit of bobbin thread in there, that's all I want. Just take that off, snip my thread, and the bobbin is wound. Okay, so how do we put the bobbin in the machine? So move your accessory tray, just kind of swings to the side. Open this little door. I already have a bobbin in there, so I'll just take that one out. And I'll put my new bobbin in there. Now when you do this, hold the bobbin case so you can see this little slit right here. And then hold your bobbin so the thread comes up over the top and it's pointing away from you. So the slit is pointing away, the, and you're holding it in your left hand, and the bobbin thread is coming over the top, pointing away from you. Now put that in there, have the thread go right into that little slit, like that, and then under that little hook, like that. Now your bobbin case is threaded. So open the little latch, and what the little latch does, it actually hangs onto your bobbin so it's not gonna fall out. When you close this, then you can take your bobbin out of the case. So opening it like this, Hold it in there, put that right on the little spindle that's in there, and see how the, the latch lever points to this little groove here. So now we have that in there like that, put the extra thread like that, and I'll put that, poke that in there good. And the bobbin part is done for now. 
Okay, so let's thread the top. Now when you thread, first of all, I'm gonna tighten that back up, okay? When you thread, make sure that your take-up lever is, this little guy here is visible. That's important because you're gonna need to be able to thread that in order to correctly thread your machine. So start out by going underneath this little hook here and then under this here, and it has little arrows. So there's an arrow that goes down here. You're gonna go around here. And then I like to give a little uphill pressure to my thread as I pull it through the take-up lever. That makes sure it gets into that little stopper there. Come down here. Now there's a little guide right there. So you need to get it behind the guide on the left-hand side. There's one for the right-hand side, and that would be for if you're using a twin needle. A twin needle looks like this, and you need to thread both of those by hand. Uh, but you'd have one needle here, or one thread here, one thread here. And there's an extra spool pin that you can put up here for extra spool of thread. But we're just using the single needle for most sewing, and that's why you would just use the left hand. Now, here comes the really fun part, and that is threading the needle using the built-in needle threader. So as you pull it down, put it under this hook here, Swivel it forward, holding your thread up a little bit so it stays under that hook, and then across in front of that little fork right there. Then gently pull it back, and there's a loop of thread that's pulled through the eye of the needle. Got a little extra thread there. There we go. It was too long. I'm going to do that one more time just so that you can see what I did. So like this, down, swivel it forward, pull it across, under the fork, gently pull it back, grab that loop. Now, because I'm working so close to the needle, it's recommended that you turn your power off while you're doing this, just for safety purposes. But I wanted to leave it on so you have the light there to see how that works. Okay, now we still need to draw up the bobbin thread, so I'm gonna roll the hand wheel forward, one revolution until I see that take-up lever up there like that. Now I have a loop of the bobbin thread right there. Put both of those threads under the foot and we're ready to sew. So that's bobbin winding and threading. If this has been a helpful video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have questions or comments, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other uh, videos on this machine and on other machines here on our, uh, our, our Montevilla channel. So keep watching, stay tuned, and thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.